Aunt, Snooty Aunt Cynthia here, and I'm here to talk about Rebecca Black. This is how she talks, and this is how she sings, except she doesn't sound this good. People should not enable this girl. She has not only a, a horrible singing voice, she has a horrible speaking voice. Okay, so don't take what she is now and put her on like things like America's Got Talent. Off key, screechy. Ah! Okay, um, you know, fingernails, chalk on blackboard. Ah! Okay, um, the thing is, is that this is not just tear down criticism. It's constructive criticism. So this is my advice to Rebecca Black. Okay, the vast majority of people who have seen your video don't like your voice. They think it's horrible. And the reason I think it's horrible is because it's really, really bad. It's, oh, it is so bad. Do you know how bad you sound? You don't have a pleasant speaking voice like mine. You don't have a pleasant singing voice. Like mine, just click on my videos. You can see I can sing. And I'm 63, though I was 62 in some of those videos. Now, here's my advice. Speech lessons. Okay, not just voice lessons for singing. I think before you learn to sing, you need to learn how to speak. Because your speaking voice is really unpleasant. So you need to go to a speech teacher who can teach you how to speak with a pleasant speaking voice or even a sultry. Well, you don't need to have a sultry, sexy voice yet. You're only like, what, 14? So, but you can still have, before you can talk like Kathleen Turner, Marlene Dietrich, you can still have a pleasant speaking voice. But I really think you need speech lessons. Once you learn how to speak with a voice closer to mine, instead of a voice like this, then you can actually start to take voice lessons for singing. And then maybe in a couple of years, you know, maybe you're 16, then go in and record a song. It's lovely that your parents encouraged you. I wish mine would have. It's lucky they encouraged you in what you want to do. The only problem is you're really bad right now. So ask them to really help you get speech lessons at least minimum a year, possibly two, and then take vocal lessons. You're off key. You're out of tune. There's that little pitch problem all over the place. And your voice sucks. It really sucks. It's, it's terrible. But it might be that if you take these lessons and you come back in a couple of years, they might, I mean, wouldn't it be great if you got online and when you opened your mouth, people would say, oh, wow. Remember that girl that had that horrible, screechy video Friday? Do you remember her? Well, she took some speech lessons, and then she took some vocal lessons for singing, and, and she's got a beautiful voice now. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that surprising? And people will be surprised. So this is not because I hate you. I don't know you personally. You might be an absolutely delightful young person, but you have a horrible voice. So my advice is get speech lessons and then get singing vocal lessons after that. But get the speech lessons first. Really learn how to speak with a pleasant voice. And that's Snooty and Cynthia with a wonderful word of advice. Till next time.